away from the studio today, but I wanted to do a quick review of Twisters. Uh, I'm in a very public setting. This is awkward for me because there's just there's a hustle and bustle all around. So I'll make this fast. But yeah, join me as we uh, talk spoiler free about Twisters. I was worried going into this movie, I thought it was going to be another soft reboot, a remake, a sequel, a prequel, a cash grab all around. And while it definitely does have some of those features, overall I did enjoy the film. I went with my wife, we had a good time, we were looking for a big blockbuster film and that's what we got. Granted the theater we were at, very nice, the audio was quiet which was a bummer because this movie begs you to listen to it at full volume. Glenn Powell's the big name showing up. The female, I honestly forgot the name and I can't bring up IMDb right now, but they were solid. They had good rapport, good chemistry. But this movie overall is exactly a carbon copy of the original beat for beat. While the plot's not the exact same, it absolutely has the same pacing. I wouldn't be surprised if you played both movies next to each other, that when tornadoes hit, and when events occur, line up almost one to one. Even the characters themselves are very much akin to what you had in the original with Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. They just did a gender swap where Glenn Powell's character is more in line with Helen. He digs going after the tornadoes. He loves riding into the twisters. He's carefree. He's a rebel, a YouTube influencer. And then there's Daisy Edward Jones. I looked up the name. I found a way. Life finds a way as Kate or Katie, whatever her name is. She's more in line with Bill Paxton's character, kind of a tornado whisperer. She brings up the dandelions to see which way the wind is blowing, that sort of thing. The intro to both films, of course, has tragedy, which shapes, which sculpts the person you see. Although in the original, it made far more sense as to why Helen Hunt is so infatuated, so obsessed with chasing down tornadoes and warning people of the destruction that's about to occur. The other thing lifted straight from the original is the villains of the picture, which aren't necessarily that villainous. They're, they're going after tornadoes. They're, they're trying to set up this triangle 3D model for their investor. But really, there's, there's nothing to that storyline. And it just kind of hampers down the overall flow because this movie feels a little longer than it should be. The final act goes on about 15 minutes too far. But overall, this movie has the spectacle. It's got the explosions. It's got some very intense moments I really appreciated. And I think that's one thing that this film, maybe the only thing, it does better than the original, which is those stakes. The moments where people are in trouble, the tornadoes barreling down on them, and you're unsure who's gonna live or who's gonna die. I felt the tension very much in this film. Everything else though, incredibly superficial. You've seen it a million times. In fact, you've seen it in Twister and it was better. This is definitely not gonna replace that and you probably will forget about it right after you watch. But if you're looking for a couple hours of escapism, you could do worse than Twisters. Well, there you have it. I'd like to say more. When I get back into my studio, I'll probably put out a spoiler video on this. Maybe, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I have time. But please subscribe, like the video. I do a lot of movie reviews, movie rants, roasts, live streams. I'm just a little out of my element right now, but I'll be back in studio before you know it. And hopefully, I see you next time.